mastering derivational and inflectional morphemes in English. Apart from bound morphemes and free morphemes, morphemes can also be classified into derivational and inflectional morphemes. A quick recap on morphemes, morphemes are the smallest indivisible units of a language that are capable of meaning. Derivational morphemes. Derivational morphemes are simply morphemes that are used to create new words, or change the class of words. They are bound morphemes which when attached to words, change the class of words. For example, hard, adjective, plus enharden, verb. Happy, adjective, plus silly happily, adverb. Textual, adjective, plus city textuality, noun. Betray, verb, plus al betrayal, noun. Dispose, verb, plus al disposal, noun. So it can be deduced from the examples above that derivational morphemes are morphemes that are capable of altering the class of a word. For instance, changing a word from noun to verb, verb to adjective, etc. Take note also, that derivational morphemes not only change the class of words, they also change the functions the words play in expressions. For instance, a noun that is changed to a verb by a derivational morpheme will function as a verb. For example, the cook is here. Adding a derivational morpheme, he cooked a nice meal. In simpler terms, derivational morphemes are morphemes from which new words can be derived. Inflectional morphemes. Inflectional morphemes, unlike derivational morphemes, are bound morphemes that do not change the class or function of words when they are attached to them, rather they add grammatical properties to them. That is, they are morphemes that attribute grammatical properties to words without altering their word class or functions in expressions. For example, wash plus s washes, third person singular, b plus s is, third person plural, Cook plus ed cooked, past tense. Break plus n broken, past participle. Have plus s has, third person singular. To clarify the examples, the words with the inflectional morphemes attached to them will be inserted in expressions. He wash s the dishes. She is a cook. They cook had the food. The cup was broken. The man has a dream. So you can see that the addition of the inflectional morphemes to the words, verbs, helps in accounting for their grammaticality thereby making the verbs reflect the tense, number and person of their respective subjects. Inflectional morphemes, are simply grammaticality markers as they ensure grammaticality of verbs showing their conjugations to reflect tense, number, and even aspect. See you soon.